welcome to the fourth season of the OSU Extension Show. Uh, we've got a few good shows for you this year that homeowners and, and uh, viewers have called in about, and we'll get to that a little later. But for today, had a call where the homeowners just bought the property and they were wanting me to come take a look at it because they really didn't know how to take care of the yard. They knew that they wanted it to be prettier than what it is and uh, they didn't really know any history on it since they just bought the property. So uh, it's kind of like uh, lawn and garden forensic files here. We're going to kind of try to figure out without knowing too much about it what's wrong and why they uh, looks the way it does and then kind of get a scenario of how to improve it. And like so many homes, one side of the driveway is Bermuda grass and the other side is fescue or some type of a smaller, uh, more shade tolerant grass and we've got a tree here that gives us some shade but not so much that we had not to be able to grow uh, fescue. And of course I want to make the point right now that there are different types of fescue and some are more shade tolerant than others and a lot of people have a tendency to buy Kentucky 31, put it out there thinking well it grows out in the fields everywhere, it should grow just about anywhere. It is the least shade tolerant of the fescue so you want to go with a turf type fescue, Rebel, Crossfire, Jaguar, there's just a number of those varieties that are turf type that are considerably more uh, shade tolerant. You can get them in seed, you can get them as a sod. And when I look at this right here, uh, they have had some sod put down here in the past. You can tell that from these little pieces of plastic that are in the sod whenever people buy fescue. Well, it's in a lot of stuff, but anyway, uh, they, they use that so that it'll hold together whenever it's a sod. <laughs> so that was put down here and uh, for some reason it didn't didn't take and uh, I stuck a soil probe in the ground and boy it just went down for the full length of the probe and didn't hit a rock or anything and it was real easy so that tells me that we've got good enough soil here we want to get something growing before it washes away but probably that wasn't what the problem was it caused it to die out now compaction and traffic are two different things. Sometimes you can have so much compaction that you just can't grow a grass, or you can have so much traffic that the grass just can't grow even though it's got good soil there, has had good fertility and good moisture. Probably traffic looks like the problem here because it's for sure not compaction. We do have a little bit more shade than what we would like, but at the same time, uh, you kind of see a trail running off here, and so that's something that uh, someone probably parked here, gave it more shade than what it needed just from the shade of the vehicle, and also uh, maybe used this to get to the gate or to, to come over in here quite a bit. But probably traffic is the reason that this isn't a good stand because you can tell they did put sod out here and it does from some of it that did make it it does look like it was good quality sod it was turf sod so it should have made it that being the case then what are you going to do say for these homeowners probably in this situation the best thing to do would be to rough the ground up a little bit and go back with sod make sure you get good sod again don't have the traffic keep it watered and uh, try to, to uh, get you a root system built there. From the looks of some of this right here, there was a considerable amount of soil brought in. And I hate to always say soil sample, soil sample, soil sample, but at the same time, that's the three things on growing something and being successful is take care of the soil. I would get a soil sample here first to find out is there some type of reason why something didn't grow here. With fescue, that's generally not the problem, but it can be. And a soil sample at $10, as much as going to spend in fertilizer and tilling it up and getting sod, that's awfully good insurance. Get a soil sample, work it up a little bit, amend the soil as it needs to, put the sod out and roll it in and keep it watered and try to get a stand of it and not give it as much traffic as it has had in the past. If there's no way out of the traffic, then build a sidewalk or something because you're just going to have this constantly if you uh, don't, if you have the traffic, you're going to walk out fescue, there's no doubt about it. We're going to go to commercial break. We'll be back. We'll talk a little bit about the trees. <laughs> 